So this is a Gibson 2017 Les Paul 60s Tribute Gold Top. And it has the 498, 490 humbucker pickups. I've already gone ahead and cleaned the whole neck and polished the frets. So I'm just going to start a setup on it. I've sighted down the neck and it looks fairly straight and flat, but I'm going to go ahead and measure the relief by putting that capo on the first fret. And I am able to slip in the 0 .010, which means this has more relief than I would normally like. So we'll give the truss rod a quick turn. So to tighten, first I want to loosen a little bit. And I can already tell this truss rod's a little loose because it's turned so easily. So I'll give it about a turn and a half there. Now measuring the relief at 0 0.006. So that's a great place to start out. So you can see playing on the low frets, it's uh, very buzzy. And I can see checking the action at the 12th fret that is extremely low. So we will just raise the action up on this guy. Very easy to raise and lower the action on these because they give you a little Allen wrench adjustment right on the top of the bridge. So you can literally just hold your action ruler at the 12th and watch as you raise the action. The action is about 0 0.060, maybe just a tiny bit below that. It's a nice comfortable spot and you can hear On the low frets, it sounds good. And playing all over the neck. I'm not hearing any buzzing, anything funny. I went ahead and did a bunch of uh, bending all over. Everything's sustaining and sounding good. So this is playing good all over the neck. We've got a nice flat neck, nice low action, and no buzzing anywhere. So all we have left to do is set the intonation. And you've got your adjustment screws back here on the bridge. Takes a flat head. That's a little sharp at the 12th. So we will move the saddle back. These tribute guitars, because I do get a lot of them and get to do a lot of setups on them. The first thing I'd say is they're a real easy setup. 90% of the time, these things just tend to be easy to set up and easy to make them play nice. And the first trick you can keep in mind is that these don't mind having a very flat neck. You can get away with, uh, I think what I just did on this one was 0 .006, but just know that you can get away with setting the neck pretty flat. I'd say nearly half of the tribute models I get come in with sharp or protruding fret ends. So you may need, may need to file those down. And even when you file them down, you may have to round them as well and take a little small file. You can get it Stu Mac for pretty cheap and learn how to just roll the fret ends. Some of them have P90s, but if you've got the humbucker model, um, you may want to just watch that you don't get the pickups too close to the strings. So you may, may want to adjust them down a little bit. Um, otherwise, you could get they're so powerful that uh, could get a little muddy. A little more space between the, the pickup and the strings may help with that. 